War with Demon head football coach Jay Thomas, whose team blanked Langston 37 to nothing Saturday night in Turpin Stadium, now has an open date. Coach Thomas, talk about that game Saturday night. What made you proud about the performance? Well, I'll tell you what, uh, you know, after all the travels and everything that we'd gone through, just to, uh, to be back home, it was really good, but very proud of the guys. You know, we were emotionally in the game. We were ready for the game. Uh, I was very proud of our defense coming off those, uh, you know, the uh, two big games. And, and I thought that, uh, you know, as a team, the whole team played really well. We made some mistakes, you know. We, you know, obviously we, we left some points out there that we wanted to get, but I was proud of the defense, came up. I mean, anytime you can hold somebody to no points in a, in a football game, I mean, I don't care what level it is or who it is, I mean, it's a big accomplishment. And, and I think that it's something that, uh, that we, can, uh, we can build on to get ready for conference play. By our count, they ran only four plays on the uh, Demons side of the field. As you started getting reserves in the game, how much on the sideline was there a message, hey, hold the shutout, keep the zero up on the scoreboard? Well, you know, it was never really mentioned, you know. Our, I mean, nobody ever said that, but we want to continue. You know, it doesn't matter if it's the, the one defense or, or the three defense. We coach them all the same. Uh, you know, we try to give them all reps. We all try to prepare them as best we can for every game. And uh, those, those guys, they want to get out there. They want to prove that, uh, hey, they're getting better too. And so it's, it's a good opportunity for them to get on the field. And it continues our team building our depth towards where we need to be when we get into conference play. So, you know, there, a lot of these guys we'll be leaning on as we get into, uh, you know, those games and we get down to, you know, in, in right in the middle of conference play. What are the things you think your team is doing very well right now going into conference play? Well, I'll tell you what, um, I really feel like our team is, you know, the discipline end of it has really, really come a long way. And that's what I'm most proud of. You know, we're moving the football, you know, we're playing good defense, you know, there's a lot of other things that really go into it. I, you know, I'll tell you what I really, really like about besides the discipline of the team, man, our special teams, the effort that those guys are putting out on special teams. Sometimes we get a little too aggressive in it. And, and like last week, we got a few too many penalties, but it's effort penalties. Um, just something we got to clean up on that end but very proud, like our kickoff team, man, watching those guys run down the field and make plays, it's really amazing what they're doing right now. And, you know, and then of course, you know, when Ed gets his hands on the ball, you know, he's so exciting to watch. You know, our guys know that, and they, they really, really working hard to, you know, get blocks for him and that type of stuff. So we've got, we still got some areas we got to clean up there, but, uh, Hey, we got a block punt the other day. You know, we got a punt return for a touchdown. You know, so that's that's one of the the biggest improvements that uh, that I see on our team as we've gone through these last five games. What are those areas all over your ball club that need improved the most? Well, we we began last night. We had a little cleanup practice. Uh, you know, uh, make correction practice, and we went back and uh, you know Chris has been really hitting the ball pretty well for us and. You know, it's, you know, he was a little bit off the other night. So we went back and we put the ball in all the spots that, uh, where we missed those field goals. And he made every one of them. I think maybe the 51 yarder he kicked twice, but they were dead on and, uh, and he made them. So, you know, he can do it. He has the ability to do it. We have great confidence in him, you know. And, and the thing is, it's just the importance of once we get into league play, and we, you know, we have great drives. We need to be able to get points out of those because it's going to be uh, it's going to be more similar to playing Missouri State every weekend when we once we start Southland Conference. And we know that was, you know, it was a back and forth ball game. You know, we had the lead, had to come from behind to to get it done. So, you know, that's a great gauge for us. You know, in a game that we'll lean on a lot, getting us ready for uh, getting ready for Nichols and then the rest of the conference teams. All right, and finally, you've got an open date, no game Saturday. How do you approach open date week? Obviously, you had a workout last night. Uh, how will that change the Demons routine this week? And even going into next week, will you begin to introduce some Nichols game planning this week? 
Yep, and, uh, and we just got done meeting on that with the staff. And the way I look at it, I never really liked the, the words open date. You know, it's, everybody's like, oh, you got a vacation, you know, and it's not really a vacation. In a way I look at it, it's kind of like a mini version of two a day camp. You know, now we're not going to go out there and get crazy with everything. And, you know, obviously we want to rest guys that need to get rested, but uh, we're still going to, we're still going to get the reps that they need to get to keep their game speed and game polish. Uh, we may not be out on the field as long as we are in, in you know, in a game week type situation. But uh, we're going to continue to get better. We're going to continue to work on our kicking game. We really have put a lot of emphasis on it this week. And, um, you know, we will have to have some contact along the way uh, to keep our guys polished. But uh, it's very important that we do get the rest and that our coaches get the opportunity to go home, spend some time with, with their family. Because the next seven weeks after this week, you know, it's, it's a grind. And, uh, you know, you're up early in the morning, you, you're up office late at night, you know, 10, 10, 30, 11 o'clock, and, uh, you know, most everyone else has already gone to bed. So it's quiet in my neighborhood when I get home at night. So, uh, you know, we want to take advantage of, of both ends and, and then, of course, try to heal some guys up. All right, Coach Thomas, thanks very much. Appreciate it. We're with junior defensive back Fred Thomas. The Demons have just come off a 37-0 shutout of Langston and are going into an open date week. Fred, let's talk about the win over Langston. What made the difference for the Demons in the win Saturday night at Turpin Stadium? Um, the difference we had, we just, we just had to get a W. We, come, we had lost two games before them. Like, and we just had to show the fans like we can play. And so we had to get a W. So we were just determined. We just went out there, played our hardest. And we just had to do what we had to do to get a W. And we got a W. Getting that win is one thing. Getting a shutout, the first at Turpin Stadium for the Demons since 2003, is quite another. Talk about being part of the defense that produced a shutout performance that gave up only 122 yards. Well, uh, shutting any opponent out, no matter what classification it is, is a great thing because to hold someone to zero points is real good. And our defense, like, we practice hard all week. And coaches got us a nice scheme, and we just went out there and did what we had to do. And we just hold them to zero points. Well, it's a good thing, though, to be a part of it. What does this win do for the team's mindset, especially going into an open date week? Uh, it just boosts our confidence up to go into conference. We just um, practice hard for the open week and just, it just get us confident, get our coaches confident, and we, um, we're looking forward to have a good conference. Okay, you've got the Southland Conference games remaining. Uh, talk about what you've seen so far around the conference and how you think the Demons can do. Um, I think we can do pretty good, like, but in a Southland Conference, you got to bring it every week because anyone could win. And like, everyone know everyone, and like, you got to bring it every week in Southern Conference. All right, and let's talk about your success the last two weeks, two interceptions. Now the coaches put an emphasis on creating turnovers, and guess who's done it? Fred Thomas. Talk about why you've been able to come up with these interceptions and how important that is. Well, it's very important, and like I'm the one to come up with it because the coaches, they, they put it on me a lot. They're like, you got to create a turnover, got to create a turnover. Ball go in there, go get it. And like the first week in Missouri State, I, had, I didn't do too good. But the coaches believed in me, they stayed with me, and like they told me like the new scheme, and like I just got the ball. <laughs> All right, can we expect more from you? Yes, sir. All right, we're going to look for those. Fred, thanks very much. Okay. We're with sophomore offensive tackle Pace Murphy. The Demons just coming off a 37-0 win at home over Langston on Saturday night and beginning an open date week. Pace, let's talk about the win over Langston after two losses to FBS teams on the road. I know it had to be refreshing to get home and then to put together a solid performance against Langston. It's always nice to get back over the home crowd. Uh, played a little rough teams on the road. We kind of weren't really clicking as we should have, but you know we kind of got back into the rhythm against uh, Langston and stuff like that, so it felt good to you know get back in the groove and get the, kink, get the clogs rolling again. So made some big plays throughout the night. 
Um, Langston, however, gave us some trouble up front. They were pretty physical up front. Talk about the challenges that uh, Langston uh, provided for the Demons. Yeah, Langston, they, uh, they brought some blitzes and stuff like that, and they were twisting their line. Uh, defensive ends played really well. You know, I didn't really go up against the tackles and the nose guards as much, you know, or tackles against the ends. But, uh, you know, the ends that played physical, they were quick off the ball, and uh, they provided some problems. But I think, you know, in the end, we came o overcame it. So, you know. So the team's three and two now. The offense has certainly showed explosive capability that uh, we haven't seen for quite some time here. Talk about how you feel about the Demon offense going into open date week. Well, I'm excited about it. You know, the new offense is faster paced. You got a, got a glimpse of that during the Langston game. We started running the tempo on them, and they, they were kind of screaming out, like, you know, we need breaks and stuff like that. So, you know, we were getting it moving. But uh, Coach Brown said, you know, we're good. We're not great yet. We got things to improve on, and we're getting there, but we still have work to do. So this bye week will be great for us to get those kinks worked out. That way, when we come back, Vance Conference will be full speed ahead. Let's talk about the Southland Conference for a moment. Um, obviously, everybody has their head over the shoulder a little bit, checking out the results of the other conference teams during the non-conference season. Now we'll take a break, and everybody will be playing Southland Conference games on October 12th. How do you see the conference race shaping up, and are the Demons a contender? Of course we're a contender. Every team's a contender in the Southland. I mean, we're all just a solid conference, so I mean, every team can be any team on any weekend. So I mean, it's going to be a constant battle for the next couple of weeks after bye week once we start conference. And so, I mean, we're going to have to be on top of our game and play solidly and hopefully get that conference championship. All right. One subtle factor about the conference opener at Nichols is it's where Coach Thomas was head coach for six years. How much do you guys think about that going into that game and, and want to win extra special because it is where he was once head coach? I mean, it's going to be a tough game no matter what. I mean, we're going down to Thibodeau. It's going to be Nichols. They're going to have a little, you know, thing against Coach Thomas. Uh, so, I mean, we're going to try to win it for him, obviously, and stuff like that. We're also going to try to win it for ourselves. I mean, every game is important to us, no matter what. So, I mean, we're going to, especially if with the first game of conference, it's going to be a, a big game. So, we're going to try to play hard and see if we can get the win. Thanks, Pace Murphy.